Everybody and welcome back to Falcon Police RimWorld. Let me go ahead and unpause the game here. Now, there's a few changes from last episode to this one as I finally went and started renaming the first few people. Um, so first and foremost, let's see here. We got um, Krebs. So Krebs is now in the colony itself. He was the first guy to ask me to be named after somebody. So Krebs, welcome to the, com uh, to the colony, I should say. Uh, you're our commissar and you were taking over the spot of Browning. Next person on the list was Ryan. Ryan uh, is going to be taking over the spot of, I think that was Pira, the broker. And so they're in the calling now. Uh, welcome aboard, guys. And then we have three prisoners. We have Jeff, who's uh, Jeffrey Wilson. Always posting, always uh, commenting. Really good support guy. Thank you, Jeff, for all the support that you uh, give my channel together. So you are also, um, you are Susumu the Pirate. And then we have a, a newcomer. I haven't really seen him much around, but he actually uh, asked for to be named somebody. And again, I'm not going to deny anybody. If you want to be named in there, I appreciate the support altogether. This is going to be the key. And he wanted to be named uh, Ducky. So if you see his character, he wanted his name to be Ducky, the K. And then his nickname is Key. So there you go, Key. Welcome to the colony. You are the chef. I think you're Kanim. And then I can't pronounce this. <laughs> the sweet swag here. Um, but what I'm gonna call you? I'm gonna call you your by your username. I'm gonna name you after your username. But I'm gonna call you Swag. So you are gonna be the swaggiest dude at the whole colony so far. I'm sorry, guys. This name just kind of uh. I guess oozes swag. So the swag dude is going to be the swag here. He takes over the spot of, uh, I believe, Bacchus. So there you go, guys. I still have a few more people that have uh, recently left comments in my last video. Right now, I'm taking, I'm basically recording and taking a look at the old vi at the video that I released today to kind of get a lot of you involved a lot sooner than later. So I'll be taking a look throughout the day as I record more episodes and whatnot. So welcome aboard, guys. And again, guys, keep leaving your names and comments even from this video onward. And again, when it's a fr uh, spots freeze up, we'll start renaming you for sure. So alrighty, guys. So that's going to be the first batch of people. You the Bolt is over here having a mental break. Uh, why are you having a mental break, Bolt? Sharing a bedroom, hungry, ate nutrient paste. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that happens, man. Believe me, we'll get the uh, the butcher and I mean, you guys have to build this. I mean, once you build this, we'll have like everything going pretty well. Believe me, just hang in there, man. So other than that, what else can we do right now? Well, I wanted to set up a little defense system for us. I, uh, not Nothing too crazy, right? But at least something out here. So what I wanted to do, quite honestly, was actually... Uh, let me do a little bit of hauling. I set up a dump spot over here for slag debris. And let's see here. So let's haul... Uh, I'm basically getting rid of all the debris here. So that raiders don't use it against us, right? So let me go ahead and have this hauled off. And other than that, let's go ahead and also have uh, uh, this cut off, this cut off, and this as well. Just so they don't hide behind the cactuses as well. And let me set this one to be cut, and then this one as well. And let me get... I guess we'll have this one cut as well. Alrighty. And then, let's see... Make sure that we have people that could cut plant cutting. Not that many, really, quite honestly. Um, so plant cutting, let's make Krebs a plant cutter for sure, hauler. Uh, I'm going to really start uh, assigning manual priorities soon enough, but I think that for now will be okay. If anything, I'll just manually like right-click people to do stuff right now. But I'll start setting up like ones and fours and all this in a bit. Probably sooner than later, for sure. Uh, and let's see. Other than that, we're, I think we're good to go now. So let me actually get this going. And let's see. If we are going to set up an outside defense, well, that's where we're going, by the way. We're going for an outside defense. So let's see. We're going to set up. I'm not sure if stone walls work like metal walls in terms of uh, giving you, providing you backup in terms of like, you know, when you fight people. I assume it does. So with that said, let's go ahead and actually set up a stone wall right here, right here, right here, right there. And then we'll set up a sandbag right through there. And maybe another one right here. And then, just in case they come at us from the side, we'll set up a stone wall here. Here. And sandbag here. And here. I guess I could probably even put it up against the wall, can I? I don't see why that would be a bad idea, quite honestly. So let me set this up like so. Like so. And then sandbag here and here. Just to kind of give us like a bit of a platoon type of uh, hardcore shelter. So let's do that and let me go ahead and speed everything up here. Krebs is... Uh, Militarized for some reason. My bad, Krebs. Go and uh, do whatever you have to do, man. Apologize about that. My battery's over here doing their thing. This is not charging right now because it's nighttime, obviously. It's not going to work. But hopefully... Yeah, there we go. So there is the daytime coming in, or at least the sun coming in. So that's going to charge for sure. All right, so luckily my 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 fear over here was that this wasn't going to work, but it is indeed still working. Uh, Med was starting to run a bit low, but again, we have an ample supply over here. It's just a matter of actually getting this mined out and going and whatnot. 
So there you go, look at the stone walls right there. Those will basically be a lot harder for the raiders to take down for sure. And I suppose they'll probably even uh, give me better coverage altogether. So that's something to definitely keep in mind here. Everybody is set up to be recruited, right? Let's make sure that I'm not over here jutsing that up yet again. Yes, yeah, so everybody's set for recruitment. Uh, I want to get these guys their own rooms. But quite honestly, I need to finish up with what they're doing over here. Now, Krebs over here cutting plants, which is good. Well, like one left over here, and then I, the Bolt, is going to go do a little bit of hauling of food. How about you start doing a little bit of slag, uh, slag debris hauling so that these guys don't come and uh, ruin our lives, essentially. You, the Bolt, um, go ahead and prioritize that as well. Krebs, where are you going? Krebs, forget about that right now and go and uh, haul some slag debris. Uh, let's see, in terms of stone blocks, let's actually cut that out for now and worry about that later i'd rather get some i think i have enough stone that i have that i need right this instant there has been a fault in the power conduit system right about there which is not good i don't have a home zone just yet so uh, let me actually set up a home zone region uh like so i guess Another thing I should probably do is actually put up some metal tiles on the outside of the walls that can burn, quite honestly. But uh, I'll forego that for now. Pro probably not. It doesn't come back and bite me in the ass. But I'll forego that for now. Let me actually just have these fires put out before I continue anything else. Okay, good. And power conduit. There you go. Yeah, so um, again, I, I do need to set up some uh, metal tiles just so fires don't drift over to our base. But at least for now, I'll forego it. Uh, let's, let's continue doing this though, by the way, guys. Uh, I know that you guys are trying to get some food, and that's really important for sure, but I'd also like all the slag debris to be moved out of the way so that raiders don't use it against us for sure. And, alright, we have finished the advanced targeting. Let's go into the research screen. Oh, now there's advanced armor for the, the, for the turrets. That's really good, because the thing, my, my deal with the turrets was that they actually went down too fast. So that was a really, uh, big piss-off for me. Let me go and make the blast charges still, and then we'll do the advanced armor. Alright, so my guys are doing their thing over there. Batman, go and uh, prioritize this. And again, I, I would probably do this with numbers a bit better, but eh, it's just like, it's kind of a hassle right now. It's not really a big initiative, so to say. And let's see, I guess we could probably also extend this dumping stockpile over here down through there, I would say. Oh, my bad. My bad. I just realized the, the follies of my way was the fact that I should have started it inside. Just thought that this would extend forward a bit. There you go. Oh, no, it doesn't extend? Really? Did I just did I mess that up yet again? No. It just doesn't extend, right? I couldn't have done the same issue twice. Dumping. No, no, it, it just doesn't extend like last like it used to. So, alrighty. <laughs> I'm not going nuts here. Slag debris, and let's make this also uh, preferred. And uh, they are now free. So, crabs, go and haul this off, please. Batman, same thing. And I'm sorry if I'm working you guys to the bone right now. I'd just rather have this out of the way just in case a big raider assault comes in. Rather have this be good to go. I had a bolt. Go and get this one. Krebs, get this. And then Batman, get the one over here. Alrighty. And one more. Or if, actually, yeah, one more row of this will pretty much do it. So grab this. Krebs, you grab this one right here. And then Batman, you grab this over here, and that'll pretty much do it. There is a slag debris inside of our little uh, bunker, but that's not really a big deal. It's not going to really harm us. Okay, and I said crafting is uh, going to be taking a little bit of hiatus for now, right? Yes, so no more crafting right now. So now mining is our big, really, initiative. So Krebs is doing plant cutting, right? I'm not sure. That's not really a priority anymore. Crafting, no-go, hauling, cleaning, and let's have him do into mining as well so he can kind of help us out with that. So everybody start mining for now, and then Ryan's going to be the research guy over here. Now, we do need a dedicated uh, grower. And I guess that should probably be Ida Bolt, even though it's probably against my will. But I'll keep Ida Bolt as our primary grower, essentially. Our batteries, uh, well, our batteries are actually low because of that uh, power conduit that happened. So not a big concern right now, honestly. Batman failed to recruit Jeff, 23% chance, so they're, they're, the ranks to kind of recruit these guys are getting a little bit higher, so that's actually pretty good. Krebs is over here about to have a mental breakdown. And why is that, Krebs? What, what is it that you need right now? Eight nutrient pets, sharing a bedroom, tired, hideous environment. Observe corpses. Where are corpses at? Oh, because you were hauling stuff over there. I, I see. Well, that's, that's a big concern, I'm aware, but you have to hold off for it. 
Now here's a pretty cool pretty thing, I just kind of realized this now, I'm not sure because I actually have my volume on now, but the thunderstorms actually do make noise now, so um, they have added ambient uh, noise as well, which is I think a pretty cool little touch as well. So uh, that's something definitely that I like about the addition as well. Uh, I'm not sure when music is going to actually come around, but I imagine it's going to come around sooner or later. Alright, so we finished the blast charging. And now let's go, might as well go with the, uh, let's go with the carpet making just so that these guys can stop, uh, well, they're not going to stop because I make the carpets, the research, but once I'll have them ready, we'll start doing some carpet researching for sure. Now, why are they putting the stone blocks over here? Raw resources? Oh, because I guess I have that there. I thought this was my food pile. Or is my food pile over here? Now I'm not even sure. Um, cooking is going pretty good, though. Uh, there's a lot of food on the floor. I really don't like the stockpile right there, to be quite honest with you. So how about we go and delete this zone now? We'll leave that there for now. I don't like it just being out there in the open, but eh, it's not really a big concern quite just yet. Alright, Mangina, be careful over there. Don't uh, get caved in now. So there's an open spot in this uh, cave, which is really troublesome. I suppose I could probably... I want to put a stone, or not a stone wall, but I want to put a metal wall kind of between the middle just to work as like a support type of thing. Now obviously it's not going to work out too well because it's not going to be even and my OCD is going to really bug me. So what I could do is probably extend this one block further. So I guess for now this is what? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's an even 10 right now. So we need, to cave, uh, we need to mine one more row to make this 11. And then I'll be able to put this like pretty much right there, I'd imagine. So let's just put this there for now just to avoid any sort of weird cave-in happening. And let's see. So I'm good to go right now. This, uh, I guess rain and thunderstorm and wind is really pretty cool, honestly. Like, I, I kind of like how... I guess it kind of gives the game like a more of a eerie type of feel. Um, let's go with fuck fear tech. Let's go with advanced armor, quite honestly. Alrighty. And Crab's gonna get some meal in him. Go get some food in you, bro. No reason why you shouldn't. Alrighty, so we built that right there, and hopefully that'll keep that from caving into a degree. Now, I, I don't really like the fact that they have to travel so far out for the metal itself. Um, quite honestly, it's probably in my best concern to, um, I guess remove. Or at least make like what I did over here with the... Let me put this in real time. Probably in my best uh, move to actually make like a... Uh, I guess like a fallout shelter kind of do with the shelter here and just have it remove the roof and then just have that in there So we can still sell stuff to the calm guys speaking of calm guys. We haven't gotten one single calm guy Which is pretty goddamn ridiculous if you ask me um, Yeah, I don't really like them going all the way out there for that. I'll leave it alone for now But that's something that I definitely want to switch out sooner than later Because that's kind of like really annoying. I have to go all the way over there just for that um, There's a lot of food on the floor Okay, well apparently we just got a new guy that joined us by just literally <laughs> ricocheting into the, go into the colony itself uh, to order a noble. Now if I'm right, nobles are good socialites and shooters, but obviously they can't do anything else. So um, that kind of sucks, but honestly, medicine, artistics aren't even integrated just yet, and research, that doesn't even matter. This guy's going to do anything for us, so I might skip on... Uh, I might skip on renaming this into any of you guys, just because I might just want to sell them off for slavery or something, just because that seems kind of like, it doesn't seem like it's gonna really help for me a lot, I mean, it's not like his abilities are that great, eights at fighting and, I don't know, I'll have to think about it for sure. Oh, let's see, how are these guys doing? You guys better join the colony soon enough, man, you guys are super lagging it over here. Uh, let me, I guess, drop a bed over here for now, but again, not really my... I'm, not, I'm still kind of iffy on two order. Had it been named like Two Face, then then I would have been a little bit more uh, ecstatic to actually kind of acquire him. But <laughs> uh, I guess can't have him, have it my way. Oh, no available bed. Okay, um, so let me go ahead and have Krebs if you can. Well, that's gonna be built by Mangina. So give me a second to order. We'll get to you soon enough. Mangina's gonna go over there and build that for you. Now, okay, good. So Krebs, if you can, go and uh, capture two order. So we are kind of packing up the uh, the guys in there for sure. And let's see, what do we have here? Ryan successfully recruited Jeff. So Jeffrey Wilson, welcome to the base, Jeff. Alrighty, Jeff. Let's see, you're a pirate. You could do a little bit of everything, it seems. So what do you excel at? Shooting, obviously. Mining four, not that great growing, eh? 
construction. Okay, you're an overall well-rounded guy. You actually could do a little bit of crafting for us, but maybe you and the other dude that's good at crafting will be our blacksmith and our stonecutter, basically, and that'll kind of help us out a bit. So for now, Jeff, let me have you worry about firefighting, of course. Um, cooking, yeah. Constructing, yeah. Growing, not really growing, but mining is another big priority. Plant cutting, we forget about that. Hauling and cleaning, okay. So that'll work out for us right now. So Jeff, go and help us out with the mining that we definitely desperately need. And then this over here will be our stone cutter area, and then this will be our kind of our uh, kitchen, so to say. And we'll get that almost up and running soon enough, it seems. Let's see, I hope that my guys don't over here cave themselves in. I don't think that should happen, but I'm always worried. I'm always iffy about that. I've never really understood the, the concept behind it. I know if I actually took the time to actually go and read, I'd probably understand it a bit better. And it'll probably even keep you guys from yelling at me like, you know, Falcon, you idiot, what are you doing? You're, you're like, you know, you're gonna cause like a cave-in and like kill your guys. And I'm just kind of like, relax, man. It hasn't happened just yet. It happened a lot in the first series, yeah, but <laughs> it didn't happen in the second one, so that was at least a plus. Uh, hopefully, I'm not over here kind of, uh, right. Oh, we got, uh, we got slag as well. So we need Colin's bed, obviously. Oh my god, we need those rooms built soon enough because these guys are gonna be complaining about, you know, living together and whatnot. You guys could live, you guys could work together, kill together, eat together, but you guys can't sleep together. That is your big holdup for some reason. So Swag, the swaggiest dude of the base, he's now involved in here. And cooking, let's keep all this on. Well, let's forget about growing for you. And actually, Batman, let's forget about growing for him as well. Uh, mining for sure, plant cutting, and craft. Oh, he's a good crafter. So Swag's gonna be our crafting dude, obviously. Okay, and before we uh, do get a little bit too crazy over here, let me set up this wall right about here. Uh, let's see, how, how are we looking at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Perfect. That means that the wall is going to go right about there, I suppose. Thank you, Jeff. Alrighty, so as you can see now, that has been uh, just about mined out. And I said this would be the stonecutter area right here. So, uh, let's see here. Stonecutter's table. We could pretty much have this uh, be deconstructed. And uh, same with the blacksmith table. I set them up really for nothing, just to kind of show them off of anything. And the cooking stove, same thing. Uh, basically, it's a waste of metal, but, you know, it's, it happens, man. Uh, we don't want to keep all that stuff in here. It's all crowded anyway. We kind of want to expand soon enough, so. Alrighty. Now that that's been done with, what I could do... Yeah, I, I definitely want to clean this area out, but... That's going to have to wait for now. So how about we start thinking about doing some smooth stones. Right through there. Through here. Uh, and if we can, just about anywhere in here that you guys are able to put smooth stones in. Go ahead and do it. Obviously, it's not going to go through everywhere because there is some grass area and whatnot. But at least in the parts that you can do it, might as well. I'm surprised you can't do it completely in here, too. And then smooth stone it down through here at least. And then I'll probably set up some power conduits going down here so I can start setting up um, a few lamps down over here so the guys don't freak out. So there you go. Smooth stone, everything around it. Cool, cool, cool. And how is our food supply? 507, pretty good. Got a little bit of extra of that meat over here. It's kind of chilling, doing its thing. Uh, Raiders are landing nearby as well. That probably happened a while ago. <laughs> I just haven't been paying attention. Alrighty, uh, four guys. We got Bashkire the controller, who's, uh, rocking a Remington Model 870. That is thanks to the, uh, Armory mod, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Incinerary Launcher, always scary. Uh, Glock 19 for the Surgeon. And an Uzi for the Stonejaw the Fire. Hey, welcome back, Stonejaw, I remember you. So, here's what's gonna happen. Thankfully, because that guy has an Incinerary Launcher, we do have a stone wall set up, so they won't catch fire. What will catch fire is our guys, and obviously the uh, sandbags. But at least the actual walls won't catch fire, so that's actually pretty good. Alrighty, and these guys are gonna go to sleep right now. As soon as these guys wake up, though, I'm gonna have to have everybody kind of go and set up for an assault. Speaking of which, I don't think every and my guys, all of them, have weapons, so Swag, you are actually missing a weapon. Where are the uh, free weapons that we have over here? So Swag, um, as soon as you wake up, buddy, I'm going to have to grab, have you grab a weapon over here. Ryan's going to get a meal. Jeff's awakened now. Ready? As soon as these guys wake up, make sure they get the rest in. Swag, I need you to... Okay, well, Swag, you lagged it completely way too much. All right, Mangina, go and set up. Uh, I'd say right there would be pretty good. Uh, Jeff has no weapon. Thankfully, there's one right here, so you equip that one. And you are equipped. Good. Let me have you hook up right there. 
Let me put this in real time now. Uh, you to bolt. Let me have you hook up right about there, bro. And Krebs, you're eating right now? No, you're not eating. You're just hauling stuff. Well, Krebs, you're going to have to take a little break from that. And let me have you hook up right about there, sir. And let's see. Swag. The swaggiest individual of them all. Let me have you hook up right about there. And then, who is missing? Ryan is missing, and Batman is also missing, because we're trying to do some sweet recruitment. Let me have you hook up right there, Batman. And then, Ryan. Ryan, you know what? You don't have a weapon. I don't think I have an extra weapon for you, so you just hang out and do your thing, and uh, we'll get to you at some point or another.